What is good, guys? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's going on with Tesla, Spy, and Video, the QQQ, and a couple of other tickers. And break down what's happening to the economic calendar thus far, which you should be watching for as time progresses. And also some very, very important developments on the charts for all these tickers. But before I bring anything down with this information, before I get into any more details, let me just mention a couple of things. Firstly, I am not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Moomoo -moo link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Moomoo, deposit $100 into the account, you are guaranteed up to 5 free stocks. If you deposit $1,000, you are guaranteed up to 15 free stocks, and the offer ends very soon. Anyways, now let's break down what's going on with the market. Looking at Tesla, we got this very, very nice pop and we opened before coming back down. And if anything, Tesla has been range bound, very, very boring for now. But the question is, how is Tesla going to move going forward and what should we be watching for? Well, the data came out today very close to expectations. The manufacturing index was close to expectations, which is what the forecast was. Uh, the services index was uh, a little bit better than expected, so it's not too bad. But, <coughs> excuse me. Sorry, guys. I do apologize if I do cough a lot in this video because I'm feeling kind of under the weather right now. But... When it comes to Wednesday, we have the S&P Global Composites PMI coming out. The PMI data is coming out 15 minutes after market open. And besides that, all the data is pretty much just minor, at least for the markets on Wednesday. Going into Thursday, we're going to see a lot more volatility thanks to the GDP numbers. And also, we have Tesla's earnings after the market closes on Wednesday. So we might see a big reaction on Thursday as well. Then don't forget that on Friday, we have the PCE data report coming out. That's going to be important too. So what's going on with Tesla? We're not really seeing a whole lot coming out in the headlines. Obviously, their Chinese registrations were better than expected, not too bad. And we're starting to see small change for now but the question is what's going to happen with tesla for now right now there's just a lot of anticipation for earnings and it's just trading back and forth and back and forth not really doing a whole lot so we're actually seeing some previews of their earnings it's gonna be very interesting so one of the most important things for tesla is going to be basically their operating costs and their margins we'll be watching those very carefully maybe looking at their deliveries numbers and how the margins looked and also other projections about their growth and such maybe looking at their sales growth and their projected deliveries for the year and very important things like that so i'll be watching this all very very carefully and we'll see how it goes for tesla as far as tesla goes however i just want to mention that we're kind of in range bound right now we're not really doing a whole lot and it might just continue to do this as time approaches so what's very interesting is when you look at tesla on the four hour time frame right you will notice that we have a tendency of rejecting off our or very close to where our 20 ema happens to be on the four hour time frame we kind of like pushed yesterday before coming back down push today before coming back down we might do the same thing tomorrow so it might just remain very flat and very boring but if anything tesla's just waiting for earnings so don't expect anything too crazy to happen after tesla's earnings or at least that's when the real move is going to come I do want to call out something though, because when you look at Tesla on the four hour time frame, there is a slight bullish divergence developing, which would technically suggest it could bounce. But once again, I'm not going to promise anything because it depends on earnings. So at this point, we have a lot of resistance around 216 to 217. We tend to reject off those levels. Also at 212, we've also struggled to hold above that. And then for support, you have this 207 range. If you lose that, uh, this 207 to 208 range, 205 is coming followed by the very low 200s. What is it doing right now? It's just going back and forth and back and forth, very, very sideways, very boring, not really expecting too much from it, at least for today. And going into the future, I'm just going to be watching these levels carefully. How about for SPY? Whoops, sorry about that, guys. How about for SPY? So on SPY, I just want to mention that SPY is still very flat. I mean, if you just look at the chart back and forth and back and forth the price action whoops sorry about that guys let's actually look at it like this back and forth and back and forth the price action not really doing a whole lot if we're bullish you eventually want to break 485 and get a nice push and good volume if you're bearish you want to break this low at 482.75 to 482 if we lose that a bigger drop is coming towards the lower 480s otherwise it's just been back and forth and back and forth very boring price action very very boring day so I think the market might just continue to do this tomorrow since all the data is very boring. And then we're going to be looking for a much bigger move after Tesla's earnings. I think that's the most likely possibility. Otherwise, SPY might just continue to chop around. But make sure you watch these levels just to be safe because, uh, you know, if we do end up breaking out for some, you know, some unknown reason, if there's some kind of news, you'll know what levels to watch for. Otherwise, it's very, very boring. The market's not really doing a whole lot. It's just been stuck going back and forth and back and forth. Very, very boring stuff. And we also want to call out SPY on the four-hour time frame. So when you look at this, I'm not really seeing much. It is starting to contract a bit. We're losing a lot of momentum. It's just trading sideways, which means it could go either way. Uh, we do have the 20 EMA on the four-hour time frame at 481. That's worth noting. 
are we going to come down to test this tomorrow before a bigger move or not? I'll just have to see how we open. Otherwise, it's just very sideways, very, very uh, stationary. What about for the QQQ? Same thing. We're actually nearing a bearish cross in the PPO. So this looks a little bit more bearish. It looks like it could actually drop a little bit more. Uh, so the technicals are looking a little bit weaker on the QQQ, but we haven't gotten a confirmed break yet because when you look at the QQQ, it's the same boring price action, right? Back and forth and back and forth price action. It is technically downtrending a little bit, but it's not that strong. When we hit the 421s, we tend to get bought back up. And when we reach basically 423 to 424, we tend to get uh, rejected. So it's been stuck between this range going back and forth and back and forth for almost two days. If we're bearish, you want to lose 420. If you're bullish, you want to break 425. Otherwise, it's going to likely just range trade for the majority of the day. So there's not really a whole lot going on with this. I'm not really seeing anything too significant, so I'll just leave it at that. What about for Apple stock? How is Apple stock looking in my opinion? To me, Apple's making attempts to break out. Watch 195 very, very carefully. So this trend is bullish, right? It's making higher highs and higher lows. There's also a wedge forming, so there is potential for it to try to break 195, but the resistance there is very, very tight simultaneously. If you look at Apple like this, let me actually pull up the chart or Apple. Where's my Apple charts? Oh, it's right here. Sorry about that, guys. On the four-hour time frame, it is starting to contract just a little bit. It's looking a little bit weaker, so there is a risk of it actually rejecting off 195, but that's going to depend on how it reacts to this resistance. We had three big rejections off 194.4 to 195 historically, so we will see if Apple rejects or not. Otherwise, it's going to try to hold up. So right now, watch 195. Does Apple break this or does this thing end up rejecting? It is looking like it might turn, but nothing is guaranteed yet. Uh, it's still kind of flat. If we're bearish, you want to see this thing lose 193.5, eventually 192.5. It's going to start sinking. Otherwise, it's kind of stuck right now. So I'll be watching this, especially going to close. And tomorrow, do we get a big break of 195 or do we <coughs> reject? Otherwise, we're just range bound. For NVIDIA, it's starting to turn a little bit. It's been downtrending technically. We're going to be watching our support right here, very close to 592. Uh, if we lose that, there's 590, then 587 and 584. For resistance watch 595 if you break that there's minor resistance at 597 and 600. what do i think it's doing it's actually starting to downtrend a little bit which could be a little bit negative for the qqq so with nvidia being overbought and kind of breaking out the way it did this might start to approach the very low 590s very very soon with this looking a bit more bearish this could slow the market down to some extent especially the qqq so i'm going to be paying very close attention to this especially as we go into close but with that being said guys the market is very boring it's not really doing a whole lot it's been, it's been very, very flat. So the best thing to do is watch supply and demand and wait and see which way we break. I'll be waiting for Tesla's earnings going into tomorrow. So please take care, guys. Remain calm, cool, and collected. And I'll see you guys on the next one very, very soon. Thank you, Tesla and the market to the moon, uh, because the long term is very, very bright. Don't let all of this get the best of you, especially when we see contractions. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for listening again, and peace out.